Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. In the recent series I'm pioneering, which is the No Tolerance for Ignorance series, I'm going to be doing some hands-on DIY mechanic work. And I'm going to use this to teach you basic things about cars. And I'm starting today with teaching you how to remove the complete rear wiper assembly of a Mercedes ML W166 series. Now this ML is from between 2013 to 2015. However, the previous series of Mercedes-Benz ML also uses a similar rear wiper. So this would be a guide for you to learn how to remove the total assembly without cracking your rear windscreen or without making any costly mistakes that could put you in a lot of trouble. This video is sponsored by Motul Fully Synthetic Engine Oil. I'm talking about 100% synthetic engine oil and I'm shooting this video at my very good friend and brother's shop, the Range Rover Doctor. So, working on the Mercedes-Benz in the Range Rover Doctor shop. Well, come along and let's have a zero tolerance for ignorance starting now. Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze and today I'm doing a bit of mechanic work and um, see, my hands are gonna get a little dirty. This video is sponsored by Motul, the best engine oil for cars in Nigeria. I'm going to tell you all about Motul because they're sponsoring my next set of videos. Anyway, this is what the W166 entire wiper assembly looks like. And I want to remove one from the car and I'm going to show you exactly how that is done. This is all you need. 13 spanner. 20 socket spanner. And this thing that only the Range Rover Doctor has. Whether you like it or not, this is actually a very important tool because with this, we're going to wrench out. This is going to go under this on the car. And with this, we're going to push out the screw in the middle of this. So stay tuned, guys. You will absolutely love this. And there's so many things you could start doing yourselves at home. In the meantime, the wiper assembly is made of three parts. This part, this is what actually wipes the car. Let me get that out for you. This part, then there's a second part here. Now you can actually remove this part. Second part and then the spring so it is actually in three parts this part this part and this part and to assemble back the spring goes in here like that and it goes in here like that so what you're going to do is you're going to do this and then boom it's in and you bring this right back sorry the other way around and that's it you hear a little click and there it goes okay so that's how the entire wiper assembly of a w166 mercedes ml is and this video is brought to you by motul fully synthetic oil perfect for your high performance engines your uh, range rovers bmw m series amg mercedes benzers absolutely perfect especially with the weather conditions in nigeria so stop buying engine oil from a filling station hit range rover doctor up and get yourself some motul all right fully synthetic 100 percent synthetic All right, guys, um, I want to show you how to remove the wiper arm assembly of a Mercedes ML W166. Now, you can remove the top of the wiper like this. 
it goes in here like this and keys in and there you have it to remove if you want to replace this that's how it works now to remove the entire arm assembly you need to remove this first this is plastic it on clips on the end they have two little buttons here that key into this place and then you need a 13 spanner a 13 spanner um, to remove this little bolt here if you don't have a spanner you could do this with a set of pliers but I'll rather use the right tool for it so you remove this like this and there you have it now a lot of people don't know how to remove this they think you could just yank it out because this thing is aluminium in here and it bonds with the um with this little socket here you actually need a tool to get it out and the, this is the tool so you're going to put this you unscrew it first of all You're going to put it under, be very careful not to break the windscreen. And then you're going to lower it into it. I need to get a better shot, yes. So you're going to lower, you can see I'm screwing it in. So there you have it. Then you need um, a set of um spanners this 22 uh, 20 so you're gonna screw it in until it pops yep there you have it now you can also remove this part it's quite easy actually if you bend it forward it hooks like this but if you bend it in this other direction it comes off and um, you have a little spring here and this is it so if you want to put it back this here this goes this part goes in here this part goes in here are you watching me this part goes in here and boom fixed this part goes in here you don't need any tools to tighten it just you don't need any special tools just a spanner a 13 spanner uh -huh. you use this little bolt can you see the bolt all right can i have a 13 spanner please okay so we're going to Tighten this with a 13 spanner till it's tight, nice and tight. Okay. All right, that should be fine. Then, remember you have to fit the wiper blade. So it's very easy. It goes in here, clips there. Did you see that? I'll do that again. Out, in goes in here, there are two holes you put it in from the upper one can you see like this then clip it you hear a little click and then you have the wiper installed okay that's the wiper right there now there's this little plastic cover here so if you see the plastic cover just clip it here and let it sit down and you're good to go See, so this is how to remove the complete wiper assembly of the Mercedes ML 350 Series W166. Okay, remember the wiper comes in two parts the top part and then the entire assembly. Sometimes you need to change only. The top part you your wipers worn all you need to do is pull it up and pop it 
you need to change the whole assembly unscrew from here and that is how it works